Okay, we're building the Apogee Zephyr rocket kit, and now we're at the point where we're going to apply the epoxy. In our last video, we had tacked glued the fins in, and they're stiffened up. They're moving around a little bit, but they're not moving around a lot, so I know they're, they're not going anywhere. So now I want to pull this back ring out. So I'm going to use the Kevlar to kind of wiggle back and forth to pull it out like that. And now we can see inside the rocket. Um, and this is where we're going to apply the epoxy. We're going to coat everything on the inside where, where cardboard meets wood. We're going to slather it up with epoxy. You're not going to see it, so you don't have to worry about being messy. But before we do that, um, we want to install the rail buttons. And these are the rail buttons. And it's a three-piece system. And I didn't bring a screwdriver. So I'm not, I'll have to tighten them up later. OK, so we have a couple little screws, the button itself. And these are called weld nuts. And those we're going to go from the inside of the tube and have it pop through the tube like that. And then we're going to take the rail button and you want to find the side that's not flat. The flat side goes against the tube, so there's the flat side. And it's got a counter sunk area or recessed area in there. And we'll try to tighten that down as much as possible as we can without a screwdriver. And there's two of these. There's that one there, and this one on the back end. And by taking the ring off, we can get to this hole, which is why we did it. You just need a Phillips head screwdriver. I got any tools here that I could use. I got a razor blade. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Using a razor blade, you got to be very careful. Okay, so that one's tight. And you want to get it from the inside. Push it tight. take this shock cord and just to keep it out of the way we're just going to stuff it inside like that and now we're going to get to the epoxy so you want to get some rubber gloves and you're going to need a dowel and a stir stick and some good epoxy and I like to use the rocket epoxy it's a two-part paste type epoxy and the reason I like it is um, it's very thick and so it's not going to run around on the inside and maybe leak out the little corners. Okay and I'll take an equal part of both A and B and you're going to need a lot of this. So that's part A. I'm going to clean this off because I don't want to get this part A into the part B because I'm going to use the same stick. You can also weigh this out, but I found it's pretty forgiving. It's good epoxy. And so now I'm going to mix this up, and I'm going to mix it up probably about five minutes. And then I'm going to put the dye in, 
And the dye doesn't do anything. It just tells us how good we've got it mixed. Um, so I'm going to mix here for a bit, and then I'll be right back. Here's the uh, pigment that I was talking about. And the whole purpose of this is just a few drops in there. And we just want to mix that around. And you can see that the color kind of looks marbly right now. And when we get a nice uniform color, we know we've got a good mix of the epoxy. We want it all uniform because good strong epoxy comes from good mixing. I like it. So, have lots of paper towels handy for this because this is where it gets messy. Okay, so oh, the shock cord just fell out the bottom. Um, that's okay. Uh, what we want to do is to put a epoxy everywhere in, inside of there, including over top of that weld nut and on the bottom of the nut inside there. Um, I've got a long dowel I'm going to use to kind of smear it around on the inside of there. And I already got it on the outside of the rocket, on the table, and on the fins. Okay, so I think I got most everywhere inside of there. Oop, forgot the weld nut. Slathered around there too. And I want to get it onto the back edge of the fins where they protrude through the ring. And onto that rail. You can see I'm getting it on the engine mount tube also, but that's okay. When I slide the ring in, it's going to push everything inside. I want a nice fillet of glue on there. Let me clean up my table here. Okay, where's my ring? Here it is. Okay, so this is the outside. So this is on the inside. And I'm going to put the epoxy right there too. part here. Okay, so now make sure I got this aligned right. I like that. I'm going to push it on. See this fin broke off, but that's okay. Once I get that ring on, it doesn't want to stop. If you're having problems, just pull it right back out. Maybe need to get a piece of tape kind of wounding inside. Okay, so you can see some glue oozed out right there. It, it looks pretty ugly back here, but that's okay. Um, now that the ring is in, I can remove this cord. Where'd my knife go? You can either untie the knot or simply cut it. If you cut it, this is the way I do it. You bend it back over itself and you kind of use a little sawing motion.
trying to do everything upside down. It's a little harder to do. Okay, so that's done. Now, I want to clean out the inside of the tube. And now I can put epoxy fillets on the outside of this. And I want to do on the tube and on the uh, and on the motor tube here. So let me go do that. And I'm probably gonna have to mix up more epoxy to do the fillets. So this is gonna be a two-step process for me because uh, I didn't mix up enough. I'm kind of running low here, but I'll have enough for this. And those holes that you used to put the strings through, you can fill those up with epoxy as well, like I'm doing. If you're planning on using a retainer, uh, this would be actually a good time to put that retainer on because we've already got the epoxy right there. So at this point, I think I'm done applying epoxy. Now I'm going to try to get all the epoxy off of this. Um, it helps to have a little bit of either rubbing alcohol or acetone. Um, I prefer rubbing alcohol because you don't have to worry about the vapor so much. So I'm going to clean up and you're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. We're building the Zephyr Rocket Kit. Uh, my name is Tim Van Milligan. Our website is www.apogeerockets.com down below are the subscribe button and the comments. You can leave a comment if you're here at YouTube. If you're not at YouTube and watching this on the Apogee website, um, you can ask questions by hitting the contact us button. Um, and over here to the side, I think we have some videos that I think you're gonna enjoy.